restaurants certainly have had a, a tough enough time this year, but with the latest rise in coronavirus cases, the governor has now ordered in-room operations to close. Yeah, and this week's Open for Biz, I checked out Seoul of Mexico in Indio. It's hurting, but determined to stay open for outdoor dining. Seoul of Mexico may be quieter these days. The stars a bit dimmer, but its soul is still dancing in the kitchen. At the heart of this restaurant is Teresa Bautista Lua, the beloved grandmother, the abuela, always cooking for her family, which includes you, a welcome guest in her home. Food fresh, like my grandma did for us, like I do for my grandsons, like for the guests. And they are happy with us because this is our goal to put the best of the best we can do. And the best they can do has drawn fans from all over. The food is so special. Not even all the family in this family-run business know the secrets. I think the only person that knows most of the recipes is my mother. And even at that, I'm trying to like literally nag at her, trying to get some pieces from it, but none of them will break. Soul of Mexico opened up in 2007, and it's been picking up awards ever since. The food is from the Machoa Con State, and you'll find the dishes are made from scratch and incredibly fresh, especially the chile rellano and ahogada. For the uninitiated, that's an open fire, fresh roasted poblano chili pepper stuffed with shrimp and vegetables, a specialty of Soul of Mexico. But business has thinned out lately because of the pandemic with a 90% sales loss and now a reinstituted closure on in-room dining. Teresa says they are hurting. And right now we live uh, unbelievable moments, days. And we are worrying about the business, the people, the family. Soul of Mexico was not able to get a PPP loan and there has not been rent relief. They're hoping the community will be there for them. For my grandmother especially, it's like it was the whole point is to get a little sensation of being back in Mexico and bring it over here so people can really understand what it is to be Mexican and enjoy the food. Teresa says the family has put everything they have, blood, sweat and tears, into opening Soul of Mexico and that they're grateful to still be here for outdoor dining as we celebrate this 4th of July. God bless America. God bless my community. Thank you for support us. Hmm, I, I love her attitude there. Six in the morning, but I am starving now <laughs> for some of those the enchiladas, yeah. if they had three different kinds of, oh, okay, after work. <laughs> yeah, if you don't want to dine out, they've got the takeout as well. So Yeah, exactly.